Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now October 29th of 2023, and ever since South Park joining the Pandaverse just debuted on Paramount Plus two days ago, really calling everything out against Disney, Kathleen Kennedy, Bob Iger, and everything else that Disney has gone wrong with throughout all of 2023 based on the general public and their reception about what has been going on with the Disney stock, the ongoing box office failures, and how they have really corrupted many different franchises out there like Star Wars, Marvel, etc, etc. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, one thing about Rachel Zegler is that we know that this is an individual that takes nothing lightly. This is somebody that never likes to back down against anything that calls out well, Hollywood or the current status of Disney or anything related to it in that sense. Now, we know that Trey Parker and Matt Stone, they are doubling down behind the scenes to keep on taking shots at Disney by turning the Pandaverse into a three-part event. This is what we discussed a couple of days ago. This is what was greenlit behind closed doors at Comedy Central. This is moving forward, and they want to continue to turn this into a grand storyline, so to speak. Now, we know that Steamboat Mickey is going to get heavily, you know, uh, inserted into the South Park parody event in the future. But we know that on top of all of that, given that Snow White 2024, which is now delayed until 2025, Disney's Snow White, we know that there are now seemingly CGI'd dwarfs in the first look image. We actually talked about this on Twitter just the other day. However, to top things all off... Let's get into the actual main subject. Now, with South Park Pandaverse now officially on Comedy Central, mocking the current status of Hollywood and Disney, one major development has to do with Zegler's response behind the scenes against what both Trey Parker and Matt Stone did. Now, Mark Webb, the director of Snow White, went on to confirm the following. When a studio caters to a small group of individuals and a minority for something that they dislike, such as, in this case, what Disney has been up to for the past couple of years, that's when you know we live in an alarming state in this world. I talked this over with Rachel recently, and she was absolutely offended and disgusted over what Comedy Central did to those with different ethnic backgrounds. What's great about Rachel is she is a powerful person and she is already preparing a powerful message that she will be providing to the world once we figure out all the ins and outs happening with SAG. Rachel also agreed with me on that this type of behavior is something that needs to stop immediately because it lacks morality. Now guys, let me just say one thing about that. What Mark Webb is confirming about what Rachel Zegler feels about Comedy Central's attempts at mocking the concept of race and gender swapping and the current status of Hollywood, really catering to all of that nonsense, is that South Park never had any kind of level of morality. That's the point of the show. Do you not get it? I mean, I know a lot of you guys out there may have given up on South Park years ago. Nothing truly has changed quite drastically. They never really switch roles of, you know, going to a phase of embracing morality, they still lack it, and rightfully so, because that's how South Park's nature really is. They don't care about that. They have no boundaries for the most part, and they're going to do anything when and, you know, wherever they want in the show. That's what they want to do. So, we know that Mark Webb is somebody that really truly is very much a supporter of Rachel Zegler. He has had his differences with her before in the past. Behind the scenes, we talked about this. Uh, that led to some scenes getting excluded and or cut. Now, like I said before, Snow White is officially delayed until March of 2025. It is official. This is something that has been in the talks for several months now. They're claiming it's due to SAG. You know, we've been hearing a lot of other aspects related to it than that, but let's move on, shall we? Now, Rachel expressed, Mark Webb goes on to say, to me thoroughly, 
that was what the creators at Calamity Central did was just a childish act on those with different ethnic backgrounds, getting important Disney roles, but also it's disgusting behavior toward women. This was no parody at all. We don't buy that. I remember Rachel suggested that this was a their, their attempt to change people's minds of what Disney has been trying to do, and that of course, being more equal to everyone, whether you are a different gender or a race, should never matter. And that's what Rachel stands up for and is going to defend in and out. She is fully prepared to make something special and magical public to all those with different ethnic backgrounds and South Park's terrible behavior. We think Trey and Matt could do better by acting more professional. Rachel doesn't stand for this and neither do I. So again, I mean, you have Mark Webb here defending Rachel Zegler, confirming how she feels about South Park and what they did against Disney, and rightfully so, by the way, guys. I really do feel that South Park was very balanced in this parody. I mean, there was even the sub storyline of the whole aspect of what's going on with AI and parodying that, which, which was brilliant, by the way. I mean, this episode, yeah, it may have seemed like at times where they were cramming too much stuff into one event, but for the most part, it was great. I think that this deserves a 9 out of 10 in my book. That's what I give it, at least. I just deduct the point just because I feel like there was a lot of little storyline, you know, tidbits thrown too much into the mix where they could have focused a little bit more on other elements of Disney, perhaps, like such as the status of the parks, stuff like that. But they will be continuing to mock Disney in a part two and part three and even future episodes and different events. So, this is where matters get even more interesting. Mark Webb concludes, She is the face of Snow White and will remain as is. And for those that don't like that, I think they are just going to have to deal with it. Rachel wanted me to give her my blessing on what she is preparing to say by calling out these studios, and I was proud to move ahead with that. It truly is a terrible time that we live in based on what Comedy Central did to Disney. And I know personally that Disney is not taking this with ease at all. But that's all I can really say right now. To everyone, we ask to act like adults and to be more level-headed in life. I think that's what we need right now in this world. All right, so first things first, let me just say one thing here, is that what he said about Disney not taking this with ease, this is definitely connecting to what we have been talking about of what's been going on between the Disney heads and the heads over at Comedy Central and how Disney was giving them a lot of legal warnings and a lot of legal threats here and there, taking all these different actions unnecessarily, you know, uh, so of course, but we know that at the same exact time, we have the fact that they dropped the first look of Snow White with the seven dwarfs as CGI one day after the Pandaverse special slash event dropped on Paramount Plus. Is that a coincidence? I think not. I think it most certainly has to do with their problems that they had with Comedy Central, all of their back and forth lashing with each other. And so that was, yes, their way of kind of saying, all right, we're dropping that first look. Here's the dwarfs, and there you go. About the dwarfs, by the way, they look so unfinished. They don't even look like it's, you know, proper CGI. It looks like they just did that at last minute, and it just does not look like it fits the overall image at all. It just seems so out of place and quite frankly freaky looking. That's just my short little take on that. But overall, I would like to hear what you all have to say about the thoughts by Rachel and Mark. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time. Yeah.